Dr. Crystal Lynn Keeler, and I have a joint um, doctorate from Zhejiang Chinese Medical University and five branches. I have my Master's of Science in Traditional Chinese Medicine from ACTCM in San Francisco, and I have my Master's of Public Health from UC Berkeley. So, how do we find Stomach 36? We take them, we go to the patient, thank you for our, our patient here that's agreed to help us. And um, finding this point is always proportional to your body. So your body on your hand here is three body inches. So I'm gonna look at the subject here. His hand is bigger than mine. From here to here is about my whole hand, but we're going from his four fingers. This is his three body inches. So that's about that distance. So you find these little holes on the knee at the end of the knee patella bone here. And we're gonna go that same distance as his hand, just below the points here. That's that distance. And we're going one finger breadth off of the bone here. So this is stomach 36 right here. One, four fingers of your own, and then one finger breadth here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do little circles. And we wanna do this for about five minutes. You can do it on one side on one day and, and on the other side on the next day, or you can do both sides. And we want to let it turn a nice pink. So it may not turn pink the first couple times you do it, but when it turns pink, it means your chi is coming to the area to stimulate the point. So it's really good to see it go pink. So this is how you do it with a moxa stick directly here. And I'm going to show you how to do it with, um, with the moxa box because this is if you have someone to help you, super nice friend that doesn't mind helping, this is a really ideal way to help. If you only have yourself so we're gonna put this uh, we're gonna snuff this out so we don't start a fire that's like just stick it in there that'll that'll be good and I have another stick with the, the outside already torn off and a good dose is to uh, just tear these into four pieces um, if you don't have a lot of time then you can tear them into five pieces um, and so then we have these small pieces like this um, so this is a great dose, and we're gonna take this nice magnet lid, we're gonna put one of the small pieces inside the magnet lid, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna light that, and we light the inside end, the side that's inside. And then just so you don't get scared or anything, um, inside this moxa box here is a beautiful mesh screen and that mesh screen will keep any ash from, from touching your skin. It's a nice protective thing. So then we put the, the magnet lid on here, and then we just put this box right over here on the same point. And when you buy the Moxa box, it comes with this nice elastic strap. So you just end up strapping it around your leg like so, and um, and then you just let it sit there and you can just hang out and rest, and you let it go for about five minutes. And so just the last comment while we're letting this go is if you do use a box with these clips on it, you need to make very careful sure that you do not touch these clips when you put it, the lid back on. So what I've done for this box is I've smooshed in the clips just enough um, so that the lid will stay on, but so that the lid will go in without having to smush those clips on. It's very dangerous to, um, to uh, burn yourself on the 
clip, so you don't want to um, have that happen. That's why I like the magnet lids better. So if you can find that type, that's good. So that's it. Um, that's all you do to Moxa Stomach 36. You can do it a couple times a week. Every day is excellent self-care, but if you do it twice a week, you'll be golden. You do kind of want to ventilate the space because I will warn you, it will smoke up your air. Thank you very much for listening, and I look forward to seeing you next time.